what? God damn, get it on, will ya? Woo. When the blow up now, everybody's so unusual with it. Shit. But said times in his rhymes, cause his memories. We running through New York. So okay, guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna be talking about the oil for your BMW engine. Now there's a lot of you who are still running this oil in your BMW engine and it's time to make a change and get rid of this oil because a lot of you are on high mileage and you're still running this oil and it's gonna destroy your BMW engine. Okay guys, so we're now here with the BMW N52 engine and the reason I'm doing this with the BMW N52 engine is this is the most common engine that people always ask me about what oil grade they should be using and there's a wrong misconception that people still believe they're meant to use the manufacturer recommended guidelines on what oil this engine should have. So I'm gonna go over and explain to you why you shouldn't be using the manufacturer recommended oil on this car. Now the manufacturer recommended oil, as you'll see there, is the 5W30. Now this oil BMW using on the M52s, on the M54, and a lot of different variants on the BMWs from early on. Now this is a good oil, but a lot of people are still under the conception that you still need to use this oil even with high mileage on the BMW M52. Now this oil obviously is very popular, very expensive as well. But I only use this with a car with a turbocharger because obviously it needs to come up to temperature very quickly to protect the engine and the turbocharger. Therefore you need to use 5W30 regardless of the miles. Now as the M52 engine lives on and it gets older and older and the mileage gets higher and higher on these engines, a lot of you guys are still asking me what oil you should be using. Now a lot of you are still using 5W30 in your car even with 160, 170,000 miles. I do not recommend to be using that oil on this engine past 100K and that's purely because it no longer protects the engine. Also, as the years get on with these engines, things start to wear out, the internal starts to wear out, i.e. the piston rings, things like that. And 5W30 isn't doing the job as it's meant to any longer. Therefore, as many of you guys know, I'm a strong believer on moving my oil to 5W40 and that's the oil that a lot of you guys should be using on your BMW M52 engine. Now, there's a lot of people who still believe that I'm wrong and you shouldn't be using that, but as the engine ages, 5W40 is a lot better than 5W30. Now, if any of you guys have gone over to it, you will notice a big, big improvement on not only oil loss, because a lot of you suffer with the oil burning problem on your M52 engine, which is no longer using 5W40. And a lot of you also suffer with um, the car running actually like crap as well. Because 5W30 doesn't do its job as the 5W40 oil. And you will also notice that you can get a lot longer service intervals than you can with 5W30 because the oil on 5W30 actually breaks down quicker than on 5W40 oil. Now, this is the one I use. Many of you guys know, you would have seen on my oil change. I just used this and I actually changed the oil on this car, which I'll put the video in the description above. This is the oil I always, always use on my M52 and you guys would have seen from the moment I've ever come to YouTube, but I've only ever used 5W40 on this engine. And that's purely because the 5W30 is no good. This is what they had in this engine when I first got it and it was running terribly and it was actually losing oil. As I said to many of you guys, I did use the Forte oil fortifier and it sorted the issue. I also sealed up the sump by loosening the bolts, letting the sump drop down a bit, putting sealant around it and, and then bolting the sump back up with new bolts. I took each bolt out and managed to get the new bolts and seal it back up. It's a very, very easy job. I know a lot of you guys are asking me for a video on that. And it's something I do plan to do if we do get another M52 engine, which I am looking to in the future to buy another one with the M52 engine. My best recommendation is if you have this oil in your car and you are due an oil change, do not put this back in your car. Make sure to change over to 5W40, which is a lot better. It's gonna protect your engine. And not only is it gonna protect your engine, it's gonna stop a lot of you guys with your M52 having an oil loss problem. Now, 5W40, is no different it's just about the how hot the engines get 5w30 was recommended for this but based when you think about it on how hot this engine actually gets now a lot of people are under the myth that these engines don't get hot but these actually get as hot as running an s85 engine so therefore when they come up to extreme heat the oil just disappears in the engine as many of you guys know oil breaks down and as heat progresses the oil will start to just disappear from the sump leaving you with no oil and that's why you're always having a to top up the thicker the oil, the less chance of an oil burning problem. 
and that's why 5w40 is my recommended oil for this engine if you are looking to buy one and you are looking to service one you are even at 90k change it over to 5w40 before you start having the oil burning problem this is a known fact and 5w40 can up to extreme temperatures without losing oil where the 5w30 can't do that these engines are designed to run hot and your oil will go and that's why a lot of you are noticing your oil burning problem the reason bmw use 5w30 is to make the oil disappear in the engine so you constantly have to top up with new oil therefore giving it longer service intervals so bmw could sell these cars as not needing as regular servicing as the older models but that also doesn't mean that you carry on using 5w30 or a lot of you always ask me as well can you use 0w50 or 0w60 oil in this motor no you cannot and it will damage your motor so do not change over to 0w60 or 0w40 or whatever it is you guys always mention me saying you've changed your oil over to make sure to use 5w40 and it will prolong the life of your m52 engine you guys know i'm not giving you no crap i use it in my car all the time and you see it every service i do on this I've used 5W40 constantly and you know what I don't have any oil burning problems any oil loss problems and I travel thousands and thousands of miles in this car every year without it burning oil and that's because the oil is a lot thicker and can maintain the temperatures of this engine where 5W30 cannot maintain the temperatures of this engine therefore you end up with burning oil problems so you something you have to factor in a lot of people won't agree with me i only believe in 5w30 for any engine with a turbocharger because as i said the oil must come up to temperature for to protect that turbocharger and anybody with a turbocharged car will know 5w30 which is fully synthetic is needed now especially in the us a lot of you get a lot of your oil burning problems and that's because you're using 5w30 you guys have to think if you're in a hot climate and use a 5w30 still and the engine is baking under there already plus with the heat on the outside climate your oil is going to disappear faster than you can actually put oil in that's why it doesn't make sense to use 5w30 in an old engine where you can use 5w40 you can protect the engine for a longer time than with 5w30 not only that 5w40 if you put that in your car you will notice a massive massive difference on that you don't have to top up your oil now if you are on 5w30 i do recommend to get it out change it before it ends up being too late because all you're going to do is damage your engine you're going to end up running it so low on oil which a lot of people do and end up damaging everything all the internals in the engine not only the internals you're end up damaging the vanal solenoids because you starve them with oil which then means they fail because the oil is burning you don't even realize a lot of you only realize when it does come up on the screen telling you to add a quarter of oil all the time get it out of your engine now on the m52 b25 and the m52 b23 your oil burning problem is caused by your valve stem seals but that's not the case on the b30 model the b30 model burns oil based on this engine runs very, up to very very high temperature causing this engine to actually burn oil therefore use 5w40 to stop that but on the other engines you will have to get your valve stem seals fixed to be able to maintain and be able to stop the oil burning problem so i hope this clears up a lot of the issues that a lot of you guys always ask me every day regarding your m52 engine why i'm burning oil why i'm not burning oil am i using the right oil am i not using the right oil should i get this oil out of my engine this is a question i'm asked on a daily basis especially when you guys see me do an oil change should you be using 5w40 or 5w30 i do not recommend for you guys to actually use this oil whatsoever anymore on your m52 engine most of you will already be over 100k any that are still below i do recommend to switch over to 5w40 now to preserve the life of the engine now the reason why the valve stem seals do fail on the m52 b23 and b25 is due to the heat because of how much heat the engine actually produces where if they were using 5w40 in the beginning none of this would have been a cause for concern this is purely because the engines run up to high temperature because of the amount of heat that the m52 actually produces the valve stems itself end up just burning out on the seals and therefore the oil ain't doing its job to lubricate them properly and that's what that's the main cause of why the valve stem seals end up happening in the m2 b23 and the b25 therefore if you change over to 5w40 now you can actually stop that actual problem actually happening therefore i do recommend to change over to 5w40 and that will save your valve stem seals and your piston rings on your bmw m52 engine so I hope it's going to help a lot of you guys who always ask me all the time regarding the BMW M2 and what oil to use. Thank you very much for watching this BMW Dr. Dean here. And if you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and subscribe. Thank you very much and goodbye.